Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. So today what I'm gonna be doing is installing the soft start module. This is the one I talked about around three videos ago when I did the second part to the review of the restore on this mower. What this module does is it'll gradually ramp up the uh, speed of your deck so it doesn't put as much strain on your belt. This should be fairly easy on this install. I went ahead and pre-made pigtails. Should be a plug and play on my existing harness. I don't know if I'm gonna run into problems or not. Normally it's never that simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a slow motion video of the deck belt and show how much shimmy and wiggling's going on on the belt versus an after, after this is installed, stay tuned. We'll get a little footage of me installing this and we'll get that slow motion footage on the deck and uh, you can be the judge. Anyway, hope you like the video. What we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and find our clutch wire. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. And then we need to verify which of these wires is positive. I've got our lead in. I'm gonna go here and turn the ignition key on. Ignition on. Pulling the clutch. And you can see we have 12 volts. I went on the web page for the manufacturer of this and I got the schematic on how it's supposed to go. We're supposed to wrap this wire around the spark plug. I'm just going to head and pull that off. You want to think about your mounting for this. I've got room on the inside of here so probably what I'll do is I'll run the wires out and around. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and plug up. Okay, so here's the clutch lead. Snap her in. And then power to the module. Check. Got some snips here. I'm just using standard 14 gauge wire. And all this is gonna do is it's gonna send an impulse to the little brain in the speed controller to let it know what the uh, RPMs are on the engine. Plug up the uh, spark plug. And I'll route that a little differently. Um, but just for now, just to show it works, we're just gonna hook it up like that. Okay, let's fire it up and see what happens. This is with the controller installed. So we'll see what it sounds like. I mean, right off the bat, that's like way smoother than what it was. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Okay. 
Okay, this is the soft start uh, controller installed with the blade belt test. Okay, so here's what it looks like from the rear. We're going to full throttle. So you can tell it kind of sounds like a slipper clutch. What I want to do is go ahead and route these wires. We're just going to plug up to the existing harness. Make sure everything snaps in nice. Tight quarters here. Everything's nice and neat. There we go. And there you go. Pretty easy to uh, install that, and uh, hopefully it'll prolong the life of my belts and the PTO shaft. So as you can see, that's a pretty big difference from what it was before. It really sounds like the clutch is sliding a lot more. It's a lot smoother. Now, I, I don't know about the longevity of a clutch with this type of uh, setup, but I know on all the newer machines, they put it on it. Um, so I don't know. I'll give it a try. I'm going to uh, mount it right in here so it's out of the way. And um, that way the UV light won't get to it. It's rated for like 750 hours in direct sunlight. But um, if I can keep it out of the light, I'm going to do it. It'll protect it some too from tree branches and stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up if you like it.